everybody. Welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and uh, welcome to episode 17, which is our 17th week on uh, the trailer job, the trailer powder coat line job. And there's, we had some interesting developments coming up for you to see. Uh, I'm shooting this intro very late in the week, but we had activity, you know, during the week. And um, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, we didn't do much, so you didn't uh, you didn't miss a lot. I actually took a Quick road trip. To someone you may, uh, you may recognize. Man, that thing sounds great. Oh, man. It's a wild truck. Don't kid yourself. That thing sounds pretty sweet out of the pipe, too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got the same exhaust. It's got a nice tone to it. Yep. Well, well done. So it was good to see Steve. We got to hang out for a few hours. Uh, I dropped off some of my uh, surplus material that could or couldn't be useful. Might be useful. Maybe he'll make use of it. So all the best to Steve and his wife and his new grandchild. All right. Uh, next up, we uh, uh, we went we went uh, in head first on the clean room again. And uh, you know some of the some of the stuff's going going pretty good. We did have another portal issue, conveyor portal issue, and spent some time on the phone. I assembled the first one, didn't look right, reworked it, got the approval from uh, uh, the systems house, uh, general automatic transfer, and then this is what we ended up with. Well, we got a good run at the clean room. Uh, we've got all our top channel in all the way down there and we've got a floor channel in as you can see down there right next to the oven and the corner channel these two panels I'm gonna leave out that's my aisle those go in the last you can see how much room we got see the floor channel against the oven we got a uh, only about six inches between uh, the two units so we got barely enough room to get behind it and screw in the panels but uh, after a little bit of rework, we had, a, we had a rework this conveyor opening to match. But we, we got a good match. You can see we got a trailer in there. And we ran a trailer through the portal yesterday and got that cleaned up. We started trimming out. You can see the white strips. It's a flat strapping that straps in all the uh, black iron. And with that gets strapped in from both sides and captures the uh, foam panels to the steel. So we still got some more trim to do, but we're we're busy hanging panels. These just screw in with a little button head Phillips on uh, eight inch centers. And those go like like you so. Like I showed you before, they go all the way up. But it looks nice when you're done. Outside, it's got kind of a New England uh, look with the ribbing. So it's smooth and continuous inside and got ribbed outside. So that's our final conveyor portal size on the clean room, which matches the spray booth and the ovens and everything else. So, And we've uh, rolled trailers through, as you can see here. Well, we're doing a 
test run you can hardly tell this thing's moving but as you can see but right there that thing's in motion this is the speed at which it runs four feet a minute really slow and this is just a simulation this is a clearance run we're going to make sure that we've got clearance up to our conveyor slot and all those flat bars are going to clear on the way in. We've got guides and things and you know they've got some miscellaneous parts hanging there behind it on the caboose and we're making sure these are going to clear all the way down our washer. Uh, we're going to go visit the spray booth because they're uh, they got another trailer down there they're getting ready to run through and do a dry run on the spray guns make sure they clear and hopefully we don't crash, crash a spray gun. That'd be pretty catastrophic. But uh, we're looking good on the washer as far as portal clearance and conveyor slot clearance. So that's what a trailer looks like coming through the washer there. But let's go over and visit the spray booth over here. We've got another trailer down at the leading edge over here by the laser curtain. It's gonna get measured on the way through and the spray guns are gonna move accordingly. That's actually pretty cool to see. I'll probably time lapse it because it takes a really long time. But let's go see what's going on with Gima. And next up, we uh, they actually did a little bit of powder coating, and it it, it goes something like this. I'm going to run this at 16 times speed. Uh, otherwise, you'd be looking at like half hours worth of video right there, and it's pretty dull to see. But you can see all the spray guns in motion and actually spraying powder on the unit. going super good and I'm going to show you that clip one more time with a little bit of extra footage at the end um, we lost air pressure to the system um, I guess there the house pressure fell down so no one turned the compressor on and we were running on whatever residual pressure was in the lines until it dropped off as seen here
And here's the aftermath. That one didn't do too well. These two are repairable. The one broke uh, the tubes inside. Those are the actual tubes that the powder flows through. So the damage was actually minimal. They're made to be breakaway, but some parts are going to get damaged. This is what the tubes are supposed to look like. And that's what that one looks like. See, it snapped off at the end. So the damage wasn't too great. They'll be back in business pretty quick uh, with a few parts. Okay, well, here's a freshly powdered, powdered trailer that's three quarters of the, of the way powdered. Uh, it didn't make it all the way through from what you saw in the last video. Um, we lost air pressure during that last run and uh, spray guns crashed. I guess you saw that. And we actually broke three of the spray guns, but we did lose air pressure. So this is powder coated. I don't know if you can even see the finish, but that's just, it, you can see it just wipes right off. It's got a good thickness on it, I think. The GEMA people will know better on the thickness, but it's uh, real flat looking before it gets baked. Just going to stuck their fingers in it there. Uh, but this whole trailer will just blow off with an air hose. So that got coated. And like I said, we made it about three quarters of the way down and then had a, had a bad gun crash, low air pressure. Uh, we lost the house system. Uh, the conveyor failed too. It went into alarm as well. So that wasn't, wasn't optimal. Alright, so that wasn't awesome as you saw on the bench. There was a couple of broken spray guns, but thankfully Gimo was here uh, when it happened and they can get the right parts uh, here and get those guns fixed and get them back in operation. So, uh, not going to say 100% successful powder coating a trailer. We painted two thirds of a trailer. And uh, so that's, that's that. All right. Uh, I'm not going to navigate you through all this. I'll do a closing video uh, late Friday before I close up my video. I just need to shoot my intro. It's already Thursday, you know. But uh, we're, we're we're rolling hot, straight, and normal on the uh, on the clean room, and I'll show you some of that footage as we go. Uh, you know our progress on that. All right. <laughs> Okay, well this side of the uh, enclosure really hasn't changed since the last bit of video. Uh, I still got trim to put up and a little bit of capping around the opening and stuff. But uh, what has changed is down here we're working on the, this is this is considered the south wall. Now that's a 70 foot long wall and uh, 28 foot tall. These have uh, kickstands on them. Uh, we got ductwork that actually has to go up there. It's hard to stand back far enough to see what's going on with these things. But up on top we got fire sprinklers that come through. Here we got a I beam that's got to come through with a blue pipe. That's an airline going to the booth. There's another I beam. We had a notch around, and we just put simple capping around those. And it just keeps on going. There's the last I beam. We're working our way up to a corner right now. If we get to a corner, we're going to change directions. That top channel. When I get to the end of that. We're making a 90 degree turn and heading over to another wall. Well, Friday morning uh, wall up behind us there. We're going to show you the plans and show you what the last little bit, or the last wall has in store for us. Uh, we have a roll-up door, we have a conveyor portal, and we have a, 
uh, air conditioning uh, opening, which I'll talk about a little bit. Uh, I haven't really showed you the AC system that's going on this uh, that big clean room there behind me. So we're going to uh, show you that, we'll take you to the plans, and uh, show you the progress up till this morning, and then we'll sh shoot a little bit more tonight before I take it home and uh, edit my video. Let's uh, check out the plans. Okay, well here's the three elevations of, uh, of the clean room. It's only three walls, no lid. Uh, here's an elevation of the wall uh, directly behind me that, we, that I already showed you with one conveyor portal. It's got a man door we still got to cut in and we still got to cut in some a few windows. And that is uh, this wall right here. So that wall is uh, standing. Uh, we're leaving these two panels out because that's our main aisleway to get parts in. I got skids of parts here. Um, I got more paneling over there, so we're leaving that open and we're going to use that as a throughway. Um, so that's that wall. Here's the big wall, and it's just one big plain wall, and every one of these is a column, a steel column, and those get trimmed out. So that 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 wall is uh, uh, 71 feet long by 27 8 tall so it might as well be 28 feet tall so that's she's a big one that's a that's what we ran yesterday it was that wall now the wall we haven't put in yet is this one um down here this one we got window roll-up door man door window conveyor portal air conditioning opening and like i say we haven't even talked about the ac system you probably noticed uh on the big wall there's some uh kickstands coming out of this out of the wall those legs that are sticking out there is actually where um come on focus yeah the legs sticking out is actually where our ductwork uh lays it's like a shelf the ac unit for back here sits on this on the floor right here and then we've got a vertical duct then it goes to those and we distribute air around the perimeter of the uh, around the periphery of the room so that's what those are for and this wall is still due to get trimmed out it still gets the uh, the flat strap over those and that that'll contain the uh, foam core panels to the uh, uh, to the actual column itself and add some strength because if there wasn't any steel in that wall, that'd be a big flimsy mess. That wall is actually pretty strong, surprisingly. And on the back side, you see what they do? They do these, uh, uh, they got a welded on flat strap because our oven, I got about eight inches between the oven and that clean room. Not a lot of room, so we can't get back there to do any screwing or anything. So these flat bars are actually, that's an eight, eight inch uh, by eight. Eight inch wide by eighth inch thick uh, flat bar that gets welded to the back side all the way up. And that runs on every single column all the way down. Pretty easy. It just it's just time consuming. It takes a while to get these panels stood up. You don't have a lot of ceiling clearance up there. And you got to stand them up kind of diagonally. We got the system over here. We can't come in this way and stand up. We have to take them in knife edge and stand them up this way. So every every panel took us about a half hour to get finagled into place. And thankfully, they don't weigh a lot. They are not that heavy. All right, let's. Uh, we're going to finish out our day, and I'll bring you back uh, Friday night and show you what what progress we made. I don't expect a lot today. That roll-up door and those portals are going to slow us down. But uh, that big wall went in quick. Okay, well here's an end of the day shot. We've got our we've got a 8x8 eight eight roll-up door opening put in and the two headers. And then our 71 some foot wall over there is complete outside of trim we're just waiting on trim and we 
we still got our two panels out at the end so we can get in and out. We can still use this as a driveway to get clean through. Through our little eight by eight. I can get a forklift through there and I can get a uh, I can get a scissor lift through there. So that's good. But this wall has to continue over to that wall. And we're gonna work on that tomorrow, tomorrow being Saturday. Uh, but that'll make it into episode number 18. They've been in here all day with trailers, practicing, setting up guns, things like that, training the uh, painters on how to use the system. So Gima's done, Gima's out of here. They're done with their initial training when they go into production, I'm sure they'll be back. But they showed them how to clean the boot, they showed them how to change the color, they showed them how to adjust the guns, run all the computers, all that good stuff. So the customer is now proficient at the GEMA system. Oh, well, in case you guys wanted to see how, how powder comes, it comes in big drums. They get strapped to a shaker right there. And then they just put that tube down in a bag of powder. And there's powder down in there. And that whole thing's a vibratory. It just vibrates. And uh, then that sort of sucks the powder or pumps the powder over to there. You see, they did a cleaning today. It's had powder in it, but it's all cleaned out. And it cleans up pretty easy. You know, it's not a lot of work to get them cleaned out. Push up a few buttons, flip a few levers. Flip a few valves and away she goes. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed episode 17 of the uh, powder coat uh, line installation. We're working on a very large clean room. Uh, hope to be done with this clean room by the end of next week. And we've got some parts here for washer. We're gonna get back, jump back on the washer. All my parts came in at once. So I've got, I've got, I actually got oven parts to finish those up. We got washer parts to finish that up. And I think I've got almost everything I need for the uh, for the clean room. So that's uh, we've got plenty of work to do now. We're not waiting on trucks anymore. So we had some downtime in the past, and that time is over. Now it's time to uh, really get to it. All right, guys, enjoy this with your Saturday morning coffee, and uh, we'll see you on episode 18. But this is episode 17. Signing off.